think I got him. Don't f*** to me. Woo! Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. What's good, lads? Welcome back to another one. Let's get into it, shall we? Oh, you know what? We don't mess around. In this video, I'm going to talk about some scopes that I think are highly underrated, and in most cases, will help you instantly improve your aiming skills. This was a big change for me, and it didn't just happen overnight. It took me almost four wipes to figure this out, but I'm glad I did. So let me take you on a little journey. See, I used to be a firm enjoyer of the holographic site. At one point in time, it was the only optic that I knew existed. And as you can probably imagine, my playstyle was very aggressive. It mainly consisted of pushing people close range, swinging, and hoping for the best. Sometimes it worked really well. And well, sometimes it looked a bit like this. Oh! I'm cheating, dude. Raids have been pretty decent. Made a lot of money today. Where have been shot from? That poor guy. I'm sorry you had to witness that. I don't think that was him. Whilst I'm hunting down the last guy, I want to explain something as I'm going here. The purpose of this video isn't to tell you that every scope in the game is rubbish and you should only listen to my recommendation if you want to get better. No. Most optics you see being used in this game have a purpose in one way or another. For example, the hollow is great for spraying and general close quarters combat, but as you've seen already in this raid, it can get a little flaky at longer range. What I'm leading to here is that I want this video to inspire you to try new things. Different things. There's a lot of brilliant scopes in this game that don't get half the attention they deserve, and I can't help but feel that's the fault of the content creators and streamers in this community. The majority of people are focused on following the trend and what streamers say is good, and rarely do we see people step outside of that quote unquote meta. It's frustrating. So again, hopefully I can convince you to try something new in this video. Oh. How many fucking people did I kill? Wait, that can't be another guy. One tap this guy as well. Oh my god. Oh. I just I just don't understand what's happened here. I'm gonna go drink a whole pint of water. Who was that? Oh that was a little Timothy. That's the exact raid I wanted. It'd been a while since I got a good raid in, alright? This wipe wasn't really that different in terms of my progression though. I focused on quests till I maxed my traders, and I started using loadouts that I was familiar with. One of my favourite being the M1A and the 2X. What am I hearing? I mean, I've just shot you, like, plain and simple in the fucking face, I think. This scope really excels in close quarters like this. It just feels so comfortable to get headshots with. Fucking mug. <laughs> Bit rude, Lou. Come on now. <laughs> huh? Can I, like, stop dying a little bit? And when I'm looking for something with a bit more range, I'll usually opt for attack 30 with some sort of red dot on top. 
A bit more expensive for sure, but it covers all bases. Behind it. Yeah, it's behind dorms. I'm going to have a quick peek this side. I'm going to dump my backpack somewhere. I'm at the bus stop to the left. Uh, it's the Sturman cosplayer. And we should we should push the hill like behind dorms. Yeah, that's what I'm doing here. Like, I'm left still side. on the side of the road, but I am left side, yeah. I'm just gonna sitting in the grass at a really weird spot, see if I can see any of them walk by. We need to be careful though, because he could take us down really quickly. Yeah, definitely. You and Wood here. Yeah. yeah. I don't know whereabouts you are. I'm straight to the left once you get out of that hole. Okay. There's a good chance I just dropped dead in a second. Yeah, I get you. I'm just trying to be sneaky here because he's in the bushes somewhere. Should I ye Oh, it's him. Whereabouts? He's, he's at the side of the building somewhere. Are you in the bushes, like to my right near tents? Nope. I'm getting a nade. Pushing up. Oh, I just killed him. I think he did, yeah. He had to stand up and I didn't hear running after that. I'm gonna jump in bathroom. There's a guy in there. Yeah, I'm very scared of pushing up here because there's just gonna be more people in bushes, man. To shoot out the back? Yeah. I just heard him walk here. I think he's in stairs. I'm, um... You at the, the other door? door? Now? Yeah. I'm there where you're aiming. I think he's to my left here. He's not in the first room. Okay, I'll cover stairs. Push into the next room. All right, I'm pushing up. Well played. I baited him so hard there. Good jump. <laughs> okay. Uh, he had shot me, but I didn't die. That was great. Oh, he had MP7 and AS Val, Michael. Nice. I swear I was hearing somebody else, like, stairs. Mm, yeah, it could be. I wish I trusted what I thought I heard here. You'll find out why in a minute, though. I'm in close right room. Yeah. I'm not up. I'm checking down here. Is that you running knows. down there? I am running down there. Yeah. Could be another geezer somewhere. Mate, we had shot each other, I just realized, but he just didn't die. <laughs> Neither did I, though, so I can't complain. Uh, I'm out of hydration. Ooh, uh, I got you. I'll put it on his body, in his backpack. Alright. Did you kill him with your SVD? You did, right? Or did I? This guy, you killed here. That's, you killed this guy. I didn't kill him. Did I kill him? Yeah, I wasn't even shooting him, dude. You I killed, killed him. him. Yeah. Huh? I killed him through the door? <laughs> yeah, I didn't even shoot. Alright. Oh my god, Mike. Yeah, he's pretty stacked. I'm kind of scared to loot out here, I won't lie. I'm gonna go up to third uh, bathroom right, and look out that window. I'll start looting this man. I guess I'm guarding as best as I can here. Oh, what the fuck? I have a backpack somewhere. Where the fuck did that go? I oh. can go get that for you. <laughs> if you want, yeah, I'm gonna be despawning shit. So Mike ran back to the construction area and grabbed my original backpack whilst I started to loot up. Cheers, mate. We exchanged backpacks and started to shout out the rest of the goods. This guy was looting about in this direction here. Where we yeah, are I mean, there's a dead body here in a backpack. Wait, fast MT? I am full anyway, pretty much. Yeah, Intel too included, fair. Extra gazelle, etc. So. Alright. I'm good to go, honestly. Alright, I've activated the car. Alright. 
I'm a little heavy. <laughs> I can tell. <laughs> How heavy are you? I'm 57 kg. Oh, I'm 55. Mate, chunky boys. <laughs> Going out. <laughs> Where is he? I don't know. I need to take a green stim. I'm gonna die. I don't see him. <laughs> How long left in the car? I don't know. Eight. Come stick on, it, boy. stick Come it, on, stick boy. it. We are out. <laughs> <laughs> He's mad. 29 minute raid. I killed a guy at 30 minutes. <laughs> oh my. <laughs> we know well, I can safely say I've never been exit camp like that before. I'm fortunate for that guy, but I'd say he got what was coming. I wasn't always that lucky though. <sighs> Am I the only one that needed a new pair of undies after that? I've done 18 scav runs this entire wipe. Uh, how do I get out of this? <laughs> I used to do scav runs as a way to warm up and practice my PvP a little, but you can't really do that with scav karma now. So I just don't do them anymore. There's a guy right here. What the fuck? Who are you? Bye. I just actually do that. Don't worry. Karma got the best of me here and I died to a buckshot scav. Okay, so now you've seen a bit of my playstyle and what I like to run, let me show off a good game I got with one of my new favourite scopes, the ACOG. And before you start yelling that I'm a troll and the ACOG is terrible, just let me explain. Steps, or was that a shot? Pretty sure I'm the only one that can spawn here this quick. It sounds silly, but I've been getting pretty comfortable with my aim in Tarkov recently, and I never really understood why until now. It's because of scopes like the ACOG, Monstrum, Bravo, and the Hammer. Scopes that don't have a variable zoom. You see, what a lot of people don't realize about these scopes is that their one limitation is also their biggest advantage. These scopes are fixed. You can't change the zoom, and what you see is what you get. That's brilliant for building muscle memory and improving your aim. In other words, because there's only one zoom, you quickly get the hang of how to react in certain situations, and you're not stuck hesitating about whether you should use the 1x, the 4x, or the canted. You just react. Nicely done. Let's pack some mics real quick. Yeah, we're gaming now. I'm feeling a bit more warm. Of course, they both had to push me at the same time. This gun feels nice, man. The ergo's clean. What was that then? I'm about to get one tapped, aren't I? What's going on?
I'm a bush. Alright, we're all top top. God, this guy almost got me. Jesus. Sorry. Oh, shit, I just remembered it. Didn't I one tap another guy come out of crack house? I did, didn't I? Alright, I'm gonna have to push this guy then. I don't really have anything to lose now. I've despawned my my armor. I get that back if I die. I think the main thing that appeals to me about the ACOG is how clean the reticle is. There's not many scopes that compare to it in that sense. And it might not look it, but it's surprisingly easy to use at most ranges. It is a 4x after all. To put that into perspective, it's the same as the second zoom on the TAC-30, but it just feels easier to use. Alright. I think everybody might be dead now. <laughs> I'd already seen a lot of PMCs in this raid, but you can never be too careful. It might look like I play recklessly at times, but I think it's important to clear things properly, especially when there's a lot of loot up for grabs. I don't know if I heard somebody. There's like three bodies in this bush.
Wowzers. Knew I had somebody on a bus. Alright. We run away. That was almost deaf. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Thank the Lord it's open. It's a miracle that Rashala didn't get me there, but I'll take it. Oh, not the juiciest raid, but fucking hell, that was good fun. 7 PMCs. <laughs> All right. All right, this is the last raid I've got for you today and I'm running a loud Scar H with the Hammer Scope. One of my favorite combos. And this was a pretty wacky raid. All right, let's go running. Okay, that's a Mosin. All right, there are gamers. Oh. What's going on? I'm scared. I wasn't in a good position here. I had absolutely no cover, but I was just hoping if I didn't move, he wouldn't spot me. I think I got him. Don't fuck with me. I feel like this is the perfect time to point out exactly why I love these scopes. It wasn't the best flick in the world, but I would have never attempted that type of shot with another scope. Being so used to the sensitivity of the hammer, it just came naturally. I didn't even need to think about it. Okay. Whoo! Trying to figure out if there's more. This raid is fucked. Steezy, what's up, dude? Right, should we... We need to figure out where the fuck they are for a start. Because I have no idea. I know they're over here. Somewhere. Uh. repositioning there's no way that I couldn't see this guy anywhere so I had to back up and try get a rotate on him
Where is this guy? That was a little too close for comfort. Time to back off again and heal up. Oh, fuck me. Well, I'm gonna need another armor. Let's get some mags on the go first. I really need an armor. I, I'm pretty sure I one tapped uh, both those like first guys that I killed, or the first three guys that I killed. Should be a clean armor there. I just need to get there. Yeah. Just gonna put this on for now. Where did I kill that other guy? There he is. Slick. Perfect. Oh. Oh. Okay. Oh. Gone the wrong way. Where was it? Was it over here somewhere? I don't know if it was this far right. That him there? Yeah. SR25? I think he dumped a thermal. I think he dumped a thermal. I need that monkey helmet. Hey, now I need to loot this last guy over here and then I'm probably just gonna get out, man. Alright lads, sorry if I'm ignoring chat. This is the thickest fucking first raid I've ever done in my life, bro. Oh! Oh! Oh my god. What do I do? Uh, drop, drop, drop. Uh, drop. I say we strip the SR and take the SA. Oh, nothing happened. I don't understand how there were so many people in this one area, so I had to be cautious whilst looting up. I still don't know if there was anyone else lurking nearby. We might have to leave this armor. It's only tier five, but... 50k for this is not worth. Take that. Take that. Okay. 68 kg and counting. Okay. Trying to keep cool here. Did we loot this guy? He doesn't look very high leveled. Let me do this first. Oh! Oh! I'm gonna have a heart attack. Whoa, 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 whoa. This is... Uh, what's happening? What's happening? I don't know what to say. I've lost my words. I have to leave the hex grid. Or do I? Right, here's what we do. Here's what we do. I played my final game of Tetris of this raid, squeezing every last bit of loot I could into my backpack. In situations like this, it's best to try not think about the numbers too much and just get away with what you think is best. Remember, this spot for looting wasn't ideal, so being quick was crucial here. Alright, that's it. I'm gone. I'm fine. I'm out. Oh. Oh. I've got 9 million thermals. Did I pick them all up? I think so. Get me out. <laughs> Oh, like 9 million fucking thermals. I don't know what's happening. Ha! GG! <laughs> I died so 
the bush, bro? Who gave the bush a gun? No! <laughs> no! It kind of sucks that we didn't get out with the gear, but that wasn't really the important part of the video anyway. I wanted to show you that there are plenty of good options for you to use in Tarkov. And yeah, this might suck if you're sniping rogues on Lighthouse, but that's a very specific task that usually requires a longer range scope anyway. For the most part, your fights will take place in close to medium range scenarios, which in my opinion, these scopes dominate in. One of the biggest reasons that I think people don't like these scopes is because they don't give them enough time to adjust to. I'd say most people have maybe three favoured optics that they switch between, and naturally, you're going to feel way more comfortable using them if you've got more hours with them. But please, give these scopes a chance. Take the time to adjust to using them properly, and I guarantee you'll not only save a few extra pennies, but your aim will get a lot snappier, and you'll be winning aim jewels you didn't even think possible. Guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed, let me know down in the comments. And go drop me a follow on Twitch, we're trying to hit 25k. I'll leave a link in the top line of the description for you.